So in, in this series, we are going to cover hypertensive disorders in pregnancy. So if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe and like this video. Then this video is going to be covered in three parts. So it'll be part one, two, and three. So this is part one. So the contents or covering of this uh, part, we are going to cover classification and definitions cramps and gestational hypertension then we're also going to do eclampsia and uh, pre-cramps and gestational hypertension and eclampsia are going to be covered in part two and three then classification and definition is part one respectively then we have we are now starting with uh, classifications so we have gestational hypertension we also have pre-cramps then we also have eclampsia, superimposed preeclampsia on chronic hypertension, chronic hypertension in pregnancy. These are the classifications. So we can uh, go ahead with the definitions. So, so chronic hypertension is, can be defined as a non-hypertensive patient who becomes pregnant so it's chronic hypertension in pregnancy or you can define it as having a uh, blood pressure of 140 over 90 on two or more occasions during the fe first uh, 20 weeks of pregnancy or within 20 weeks of pregnancy or you can say uh, blood pressure high, high blood pressure which does not resolve by the 12 week postpartum checkup so that's the definition for chronic hypertension which you can use then the other definition for for this video is gestational hypertension which is formerly known as pregnancy induced hypertension or pih so this is just new onset hypertension which develops after 20 weeks uh, gestation and you can actually make a diagnosis of gestational hypertension following this so one there should be elevated blood pressure so it's historic one for one more than 140 the historic more than 90 and secondary you can the patient should previously have no history of hypertension or blood pressure then third no protein in urine then there shouldn't be no manifestation of preeclampsia or eclampsia then the other definition is superimposed preclamps on chronic hypertension, which is defined as a non hypertensive patient who, who develops proteinuria after 20 weeks of gestation. So, hypertension plus proteinuria. So, that's the definition for, for this one. Then we have preclamps, which, can be, which are, can be defined as a mouth organ uh, disease process of unknown etiology characterized by the development of hypertension and proteinuria after 20 weeks of gestation or defined as the elevation or elevated blood pressure after 20 weeks of gestation with end organ damage and uh, should resolve completely by the sixth week postpartum so that's uh, preeclampsia and uh, more details will be available in part two of this video, which will, ta which will cover entire preeclampsia. Then, definition for eclampsia is that they should this is the development of convulsions in a pre-existing preeclampsia, or it may appear unexpected in a patient with minimally elevated blood pressure and no proteinuria. Or you can find it as the presence of tonic chronic convulsions in a woman with preeclampsia and in the abs absence of any other identifiable cause so this is the definitions and we've done the definitions for the classifications so you have to watch uh, the hypertensive disorders in pregnancy part 2 which will cover in depth on preeclampsia explained and make sure you like this video and subscribe because this is hypertensive disorders in pregnancy week thank you for watching part one stay tuned for